next video is on Bayes theorem. So this is the most most important theorem and it is very easy to understand. The statement states that E1, E2, E3 and so on, E n are in mutually exclusive and exhaustive events. See here, mutually exclusive and exhaustive events is such that probability of E i is positive. Where E1, E2, E3 and so on, E n in a sample space, yes. See here, in a sample spaces. First of all, so this is the sample space, yes. So in the total sample space, yes. E1, E2, see here I am showing, this is E1, E2, E3, E4, this is uh, E5, this is E6, E7, E8, E9, E10 and so on till En. So these are all the events. So this is event E1, E2, this is E3, this is event E4, this is E5 and this one is E6, E7, E8. E9, this is event E9, this is E10 and so on, this is En, this is event En. These are all the events which are mutually exclusive and exhaustive events. So exclusive means, have you heard about exclusive showroom? The variety sold in that showroom is nowhere available in any other showroom. Then we say that that showroom is exclusive showroom. See here in event, so this is the set event. So, in this set, we have 1, 2, 3 values. So, E2, see for example, we have some 4, 5, 6. And see here, E3, 7, 8, 9. See, and so on. So, there is no coincidence with the two sets. So, this is mutually exclusive. So, the event E is mutually exclusive. Event E2 is also mutually exclusive and even E3, the variety here seen or uh, there is nowhere in the other set. Therefore, we say that E1 intersection E2 is an empty set. You take any, any two among these. E2 intersection E3 is again empty. So, these two are disjoint sets in the total sample space S. The first point is clear. E1, E2, E3, En are in mutually exclusive and exhaustive events such that each probability is positive. I is equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on N in a sample space S. See here. E1, E2, E3 and so on En are in mutually exclusive and exhaustive events such that each probability, probability of E1, probability of E2, probability of E3 and so on, probability of En are positive where i is equal to 1 2 3 and so on in a sample space yes till here it's very clear and a is any other event in s intersecting with e i see here a the set a talking about a here a is any other set see if you observe this one i am drawing this one this is the set a this is the set a see here this is the set a any other set in the e, uh, in a sample space yes intersecting every ei so a is intersecting with e1 a is intersecting with e2 and a is intersecting with e3 e4 e5 e6 and so on with each and every event a is an intersecting set whereas e1 e2 are disjoint they are not intersecting e2 e3 they are disjoint they are not intersecting but with a each and every event is intersecting clear this is what it is given. A is any other event in S intersecting with EI. A can only occur in the combination of any one of the events of E1, E2, E3 and so on. EN such that this probability of A is also positive. Clear? This probability of A is also positive. So there are only two conditions here. First one, E1, E2, E3 and so on. EN are mutual exclusive and exhaustive events. And each probability of EI is positive in a sample space S. So it is very clear. And next to talking about A. See here. A is any other event in S intersecting with EI. So A is intersecting with each and every event in the sample space S. And this probability is also positive. So here the statement is very very easy to understand. And next if EI is any of the events among E1, E2, E3 and so on, EN. So uh, take some EI. So, so 
it might be EI. So even is uh, EI is any event of even E to E3 among these even E to E3 and so on. E and EI is any one of the event such that where probability of even, probability of E2, probability of even and probability of A given even, probability of A given E2 and so on, probability of A given EN are known. When all these values are known, see here, when all these values are known, then see here, after then we have to show this one. Probability of EK given A is equal to, till here you remember, just reciprocal it, probability of A given EK into probability of EK. See here, probability of EK given A is equal to probability of A given EK into probability of EK. See here in this numerator and denominator EK is there. So easily you can cancel. I don't mind to cancel. Just I am telling to remember. It is easy way to remember. And the next one, if you keep K is equal to 1, see probability of E1 into probability of A given E1 plus in place of uh, K if you keep 2, probability of E2 into probability of A given E2 plus and so on probability of En into probability of uh, A given En. So, is it not very easy? There are only three steps. First of all, E1, E2, E3 are N. Mutually exclusive and exhaustive events such that each probability is uh, positive in a sample space S. So, from the figure, these are all the events. E1, E2, E3 are mutually exclusive and exhaustive events in a sample space S. And each probability, probability of EI is positive where I is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on till N. This point is clear. Next, talking about A. A is any other event in S intersecting with EI. So, this is the set A. So, this whole set is A intersecting with every EI. So, every event it is intersecting. A can only occur in the combination of any one of the events. So, A can be occurred with the combination of, this is A intersection E1, A intersection E2. So, with any other combination of E1 only, A can occur and again the probability of A is E positive. And next, talking about some event EI. So, let us consider this is event EI. Among E1, E2, E3 and so on, EN and probability of E1, probability of E2, probability of E3 and so on, probability of EN. And again, probability of A given E1, A given E2, A given E3 until probability of A given EN are known. All the values are known then. So, this is the thing you have to remember. Probability of EK given A is equal to just reciprocal it. Probability of A given EK into EK. Keep 1 in place of K. Keep 2 in place of K and so on. Please uh, keep N in place of K. So, this is the whole statement which you can write by your own. So, the statement is very clear and uh, the proof is also very, very simple. And let's get started with the proof. See here, what is given? So, given E1, E2 and so on En are the events of S sample spaces and also given that the probability of each event is positive and also given that these events are mutually exclusive events that is probability of EI intersection EJ is an empty set where I not equal to J where we can choose I comma J is equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on till n. See here E1 intersection E2 is empty. E2 intersection E3 is empty. So, you can take any set of events, any set of events, the probability is empty set. And also, see here, also from the statement E1, E2 and so on En are exhaustive and exclusive events. Write whatever it is given in the statement of S. And now just bringing A, A to the point. Next and A is, see here what is given. A is any other event of S 
and probability of A is also positive. So, the probability of A is also positive. See here, if you want the total sample space, yes. See here, if you want the total sample spaces, then what you will do? See, E1, E2, E3 and so on, EN, it is all the union of the set S. So, S is equal to E1 union. So, this is E1 union E2 union. If you make an union among all these, all these sets, that is E4 and so on, union EN. So, you will be getting the total sample space. Then, see here, A. So, this is the main role here. So, what is this, what is this part A? A is equal to, A is nothing but A intersection, yes. So, A is nothing but, what is A intersection is? A intersection is, S is nothing but this combination. So, A is equal to, A intersection, what is this S? S is nothing but, E1 union, E2 union, E3 and so on, union EN. So, in place of S, I am writing this one. Just A can be written as, this is A intersection E1. This is A intersection E1, union. This is A intersection E2 and so on, union. This one, last one, A intersection. This is A intersection. This is EN. So, we got the value of A here. Now, next what we have to do? So, we have to show that from the statement, what we have to show? Probability of E k given A. So, I am taking this one. E k given A. Now, probability of, I am starting with this, E k given A. So, by the conditional probability, so we have a statement that, formulate that probability of you have to intersect these two. That is E k intersection A by, so whatever it is in the denominator, we have to write that one, probability of A, clear? So, this is according to the conditional probability. So, probability of A given B or B given A. So, we have to intersect these two and we have to write whatever the denominator is here, write that. So, it's clear. And next, we have to conclude with this. So, it's so simple. We got the whole thing. That is probability of uh, E k given A is equal to. This is probability of uh, E k intersection A by divided by so what is this a a is nothing but this one that is probability of i'm writing this whole thing that is in place of a i'm writing here so these a in place of writing uh, a i'm substituting that is a a1 intersection e1 union this is a intersection e2 union and so on that is a intersection this is en clear that is probability of probability of e k given a is equal to this is nothing but probability of uh, e k intersection a by so each and everything we have to take that is probability of a intersection e1 so in place of union i am writing addition that is probability of uh, a intersection e2 plus and so on probability of A intersection EN. See here, this will be probability of EK given A is equal to, see this can be written as from the statement we can um, use this conditional probability. So, A intersection B can be written as probability of uh, EK into probability of A given E k according to the conditional probability. Here the intersection part is also like that. Probability of E 1 dot probability of this is A by E 1 and next probability of E 2 dot probability of A by E 2 and so on. This is probability of uh, E n dot probability of A by E n. So, this is what according to the Bayes theorem. See, when you compare with this. 
so just we need one one definition that is probability of ek given a is equal to probability of a given ek into probability of a by this one the whole thing so this is what we got and this these are only few steps here first one given even e2 e3 and so on en are the events of uh, sample spaces and each probability is positive and probability of ei intersection ej is an empty set and even e2 e3 are mutually exclusive and exhaust events of s and a is any other of events of s and probability of a is also positive and s is equal to the whole sample space we'll get if you make an union of all these events that is even union e2 union e3 and so on en so a is equal to so a is equal to a can be written as a intersection s in place of s i wrote this one and here if i multiply that is a intersection e1 union a intersection e2 union a intersection e3 union and so on a intersection en so just we have to start with this that is probability of ek given a so according to the conditional probability there is a formula that we have to intersect these two and we have to write whatever there is in the denominator i'm writing this p of a so here this is probability of ek intersection a and this a so in place of a i wrote all these and see here in place of union i kept addition here and according to the conditional probability there is a formula that probability of ek dot probability of a by ek and by and this also conditional probability formula probability of e1 dot probability of a by e1 and probability of uh, e2 and using conditional probability and multiplication theorem and just uh, i solved this bayes theorem and this is very simple to understand definitely the statement also you can write by your own the whole definition is very simple to understand and this is how we have to draw the figure then you will get a clear idea and thank you so much for watching and i'll be uploading problems based on this bayes theorem those are also very very important please pass it on to your friends if you really like and please subscribe to this channel thank you so much